This is the solution to written homework 25. Okay. <clears throat> so for part A, we're supposed to sketch this region. Okay, well, this, uh, this one, I'll draw in red. It's a parabola that opens up. This one, I'll draw in green. It's a parabola, uh, sorry, it's a line which goes down. And then these other two I'll do in blue. So this is, this one is a vertical line at x is one and this one is a vertical line at x is 6. Okay. So as for that, the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how do uh, all of these uh, intersect with each other or not. So uh, I'll focus on these two, the red and the green, the parabola and the slope line first. So how do the green, uh, red, and green um, intersect? So there's three possibilities. They either uh, intersect like so, that is to say two intersections, or exactly one intersection, or no intersections. So do they do it twice, once, or zero times? The way that we address this is by solving Specifically, we're going to solve the parabola equal the line. That is to say that x squared minus 7x plus 11 is equal to negative 2x plus 5. Move everything to the left-hand side get x squared, and then what? Minus 5x, and then uh, plus 6 is equal to 0. So does this factor? Sure it does, right? So then that's um, x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 3 equal to 0. So as a result, that means that there's two solutions, x is 2 and x is 3, and that's telling us that this one is the winner. That there are two intersections. <clears throat> so in particular, the picture looks like this. So we've got a parabola opening up. So as a result, we've got a parabola opening up, a line sloping down, we've got two intersections, This intersection is at 2, and this intersection is at 3. And then we have two more lines at 1 and 6. So here's 6 over here, and 
here's one over here. So the region in question is this shaded stuff. Okay, so that's the answer to part A. Uh, now we want to find the area of these regions. Okay, so then the way I'll do that is I'll call this this uh, region, this little piece, region one, and this one region two, and this one region three, and I'll calculate um, them separately. <clears throat> so for part B, region one, the formula for that is the integral from 1 to 2 of, conceptually, it will be uh, the parabola minus the line. The reason why it will be the parabola minus the line is because in region 1 the parabola is the one on top. So, that is integral 1 to 2, and we already did parabola minus line right there, so it's that. Uh, so that would be x squared minus 5x plus 6 dx. So that is, uh, what? That is x cubed over 3 minus 5x squared over 2 plus 6x, and then evaluated from 1 to 2. Okay, so let's do this arithmetic very carefully. So that would be what? So that would be 8 thirds minus. So that would be 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Uh, and then over 2 is 10, so minus 10. And then plus 12. That's the evaluation at 2. And then minus the evaluation at 1, that would be 1 third minus 5 halves plus 6. And then combining all of these as much as possible, so that would be uh, 8 thirds minus 1 third, so that's 7 thirds. Negative 10 plus 12 is 2, so 2 and then minus 6. Uh, is negative 4, so minus 4, and then plus 5 halves, mm, and then so what's that? So that would be 2 and a half so minus 1 and a half. So that would be 7 thirds minus 1.5. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I'm not going to try and make it any more simple because I'm going to hope that regions 2 and 3 will have some thirds in them and maybe it'll cancel after all. Uh, maybe I might get something like 12 thirds. Okay, so then region 2. Well, that will be the integral from 2 to 3, and now, now it's going to be uh, the line minus the parabola. 
So it's going to be the line minus the parabola, because in region 2, the line is the one on top. Okay, so that will be uh, integral. 2 to 3, and then negative x squared plus 5x minus 6 dx. So that'll be then negative x cubed over 3 plus 5x squared over 2 minus 6x evaluated from uh, 2 to 3. Okay, so that'll be negative 27 over 3 so that'd be negative 9 and then plus 5 times 9 is 45 over 2 so then that'd be 45 over 2 is 22 and a half and then minus 6 times 3 is 18. Minus negative 8 thirds plus 5 times uh, 2 squared is 4. 5 times 4 is 20 over 2 is 10. So this would be plus 10. And then minus so again, we've got some thirds there, so that's plus 8 thirds, because it's subtracting 8 thirds, so that'd be 8 thirds, and then we can add up the rest of the things there, so negative 9 plus 22.5 minus 18 minus 18. minus 10 plus 12, distributing all those things. So minus 2 and a half. Okay. Region 3 is the integral from 3 to 6 of, now it's going to be parabola minus line again. Minus line. So that's exactly what this one is. So this will be um, x cubed over 3 minus 5x squared over 2 plus 6x, except now the evaluation is from 3 to 6. So at 6, 6 cubed over 3, that simplifies, so 6 cubed over 3 is 72. And then minus 45 over 2, uh, no, minus 5 times 6 squared. 2, so minus 90, and then plus 36, then minus now, uh, minus 9, minus 22 and a half, <coughs> and then plus 18. So taking those all together, 72 minus 90 plus 36 minus 9 plus 22.5 minus 18. This is 13.5. So that's the area of each individual region. 
And so if we add them together, therefore, 1 plus 2 plus 3, those three regions. Okay, so then if we add together the thirds, 7 thirds plus 8 thirds, that's 15 thirds, which is nice. So 15 thirds, and then if we add together uh, the rest, it would be negative 1.5 plus negative 2.5 plus 13.5 plus 9.5. 15 over 3 is 5, so altogether the answer is 14 